Problem five, square root. If it's a square root, we got to make sure it stays bigger than or equal to zero. So just solving that, I add three, add three. X has to stay bigger than or equal to three. So as long as it's bigger than or equal to three, we'll get something positive underneath there and we'll get a solution. So we write our solution, all real numbers, such that X is bigger than or equal to three. Number six, it's not a square root. It's not a fraction. That means everybody works. There are no restrictions here. So the answer is all real numbers. No fraction, no radical. You know it's all real numbers. Square root, okay, got to stay bigger than or equal to zero because if you have a negative underneath there, it won't work. So I add 82, add 82. X has to stay bigger than or equal to 82. So we say it's all real numbers such that X is greater than or equal to 82. Well, it's got to stay bigger than or equal to zero. The answer won't be beautiful, but that's okay. Not everybody can be a beautiful queen. And so now I divide by five, divide by five. X has got to stay bigger than or equal to two and one fifth. So it's all real numbers such that X is greater than or equal to two and a fifth or 2.2 .2 is fine. There you have it.